Diabiv, Tokhed Milafalcha Roiv, Quigan Shermanus Punta, Caymana Erisha. Greetings from the Public Theatre, Exam Hall, of the College of the Holy and Undivided Trinity of Queen Elizabeth near Dublin. So, my name is Brendan Tagney, and as registered at the University, I welcome viewers of this recording of the virtual commencement ceremony. In advance of the formal ceremony, I take this opportunity to warmly congratulate all being conferred with degrees today and to introduce you to the proceedings which will follow. Before I do that, I would like to hand you over to the Chancellor, Dr. Mary McAleese, who will preside over today's ceremony. She has a few words of welcome and thanks for you, the graduates, and friends and family who we hope are watching with you. Welcome, one and all, to our University of Dublin Trinity College 2020 online commencement ceremony. Normally, we would be gathered in the exam hall. The excitement would be electric, for there's nothing quite like graduation day, and Trinity graduation is always very special. But today, I will not get the chance to shake the hands of our new graduates or chat with parents and family and friends in front square. The usual buzz of happiness, relief and pride and joy will not be palpable. Missing too will be those undertones of sadness as friends who have studied together for years with this very day in mind go their separate ways. For as well as being a great final gathering, graduation days are also scatterings and new beginnings, commencements. Careers start, doors open up, thanks to the valuable piece of paper with the University of Dublin stamp on it, which speaks of your deep investment in education and in professionalizing yourself. It attests also, of course, to Trinity's faith in you as a graduate and as an ambassador for the University of Dublin Trinity College. COVID keeps us apart, but it does not defeat us. Thanks to wonderful new technologies, we have this virtual graduation, which is of course very real in its consequences for our graduates, as real and as important as any of the graduations that have ever taken place on campus. It is different, and because it is, we're determined to make the very best of it, to put you first wherever you are in the world this day, and to let you know how very proud we are of you and how grateful that you chose Trinity College and how sure we are that you will do us proud. I hope that wherever you are, you have family and friends close by who can share this big occasion with you, showcase their pride in you, just as you showcase your gratitude to them for all they have done to help to get you to this day. Watching in, no doubt, will be members of the Trinity staff who also take pride in your accomplishments, for they know the journey that you have traveled. You stayed the course, you strove for success, you achieved, and in doing so, you re-energize them, give them faith in themselves and in the next generation of students. Thank you for all you have given to Trinity and for letting Trinity shine through you. For today and for the many tomorrows to come, thank you. Now, let us all enjoy this unique commencement ceremony. It is with great regret that the ceremony has to take place in this format. But these are strange and difficult times for everyone. And in the circumstances, it is the most suitable way in which we can formally confer degrees upon you. Wonderful in all its technologies at capturing some of the important aspects of the commencement ceremony, but as the Chancellor has pointed out, you cannot replicate the experience of being here in the public theatre with classmates, friends, family and the Trinity community. To compensate for this, Trinity will do everything it can to host you all at a celebratory, old-fashioned, face-to-face event on campus at the earliest feasible date, and I will keep you posted on developments as the situation evolves. To the parents, family and friends who may be viewing this according, it is only right and fitting to formally acknowledge the crucial role you have played and sacrifices you have made over the years to help the graduates reach their goal of obtaining a degree. On Trinity's behalf, I would like to add my voice to that of the Chancellor and thank you most sincerely for that support. To our soon-to-be graduates, for each and every one of you, the conferring of your degree today is a huge achievement, which we earnestly applaud, and we wish you happiness, fulfilment, and success in the future. 
whatever lies ahead of you after today's scattering, we hope you will continue to have a sense of belonging and pride and will stay in contact with Trinity. Today, you will become one of Trinity's alumni, a group spread worldwide, so wherever you might be on the globe, you can avail of those networks and contact with others who share the Trinity connection. You can find out more about how to do this to the Trinity Development and Alumni Office. The formal ceremony to follow is a meeting of the Senate of the University of Dublin, at which you, the graduates, will have your degrees conferred upon you. The Chancellor of the University will preside over the proceedings with the Provost of Trinity College in attendance. In a physical ceremony, the Provost will hand your degree parchment to the Chancellor, and she would hand it to you and shake your hand. As an aside, a practical manifestation of the subtle and sometimes confusing distinction between the university and the college is that when writing letters after your name, it should read, for example, BA brackets dub and not BA brackets TCD. Following a tradition that stretches back to the origins of the university, our commencement ceremonies are conducted entirely in Latin. The Latin ceremony recognises the university's historic past, reflecting a heritage shared with the oldest universities of Europe. Latin was the language of learning and debate all across Europe when those first universities were the seedbed of scholarship and enlightenment. Within the university of the time, Latin was the language of study, the language of philosophy and the sciences, of law and of all the professions. And that shared language long before the World Wide Web, allowed the exchange of scholars and ideas between universities, transcending the boundaries of empire and religion in old Europe. It beholds a historic university like ours to carry out teaching and research with its focus very firmly on the future, while at the same time acknowledging and preserving the best from its heritage, in our case stretching back to 1592. Indeed, our long history may give us some comfort in these COVID times when we reflect on the fact that Trinity College has carried on teaching and research through two world wars, a number of rebellions, two of them led by alumni of the university, the Great Famine, Poynings Laws, which restricted the university community to member of the established Anglican Church, the admission of women in 1904, and the reigns of not one, but two Queen Elizabeths. Nor is COVID-19 the first pandemic in our history. The late R.B. MacDowell of the Department of History and a legendary junior dean who was elected to Skull in the 1930s recounted to me one evening over at Lassa Vine in my rooms in House 9 the story of his childhood experience of contracting Spanish flu in 1919. There is a memorial bench in his honour at the back of the Rubik's, facing on to New Square. So the next time you are on campus, you may like to sit there and reflect on all the changes this university has seen through the ages, and the fact that as a graduate, you are now part of that unfolding history. As far as this ceremony is concerned, it is by continuing to use Latin that we acknowledge our heritage, the intellectual foundations of the Western world, and the debt we owe to scholars and to scholarship of former times. Commencement ceremonies in Trinity are presided over by the Capit, head, led by the Chancellor of the University, Dr. Mary McAleese, and she is joined on the Capit by the Provost of the College, Dr. Patrick Prendergast, and the Senior Master Non-Regent, Professor Kevin Devine. The Senior Proctor, who will present graduates to the Senate, is Professor Werner Blau. The senior proctor and myself are in the public theatre, together with the mace bearer, Mr. Joe Mockler, while the rest of the participants join remotely. The ceremony will be opened by the Chancellor with the Salwete, or greeting. This will be followed by the reading of the University Senate Minutes, which relate to the last degree awarding ceremony of the Senate, i.e. the last commencement ceremony that took place before this one. The senior proctor will ask the Caput to approve the awarding of the degrees. The mace bearer then calls for a vote by members of the Senate, and the Chancellor asks for agreement of those present, which is given with the response, plaquette, it is agreed. The senior proctor will then present each degree and list the names of the candidates, commending them to the Chancellor for admittance to the degree. 
The Chancellor then admits the named candidates, and the Chancellor will close the ceremony, bidding us all farewell with the words of the Walete, or goodbye. So enjoy the ceremony, accept the congratulations and best wishes of everyone in our community, and we look forward to seeing you on campus in circumstances around. Salvete senatores omnes, domini doctores, domini magistri. Salvete candidati senores. Salvete hospites undique hic benignissime congregati. Comitia fiant in nomine dei. Amen. Comitia octomnalia. Termino sancti Michaelis. Ultra matutina tres. Habita die decimo novembris, anno domini millissimo secondo vicesimo. Caput senatus, Cancellaria Maria Patricia Machilis, doctor in utroque jure. Prepositus, Patricus Johannes Prendergast, doctor in scientis. Senior magister non regans, Com Genius Martinus Divine, Doctor in Philosophia. Procurator Senior, Vernus Josephus Blow, Doctor in Scientis. Registarius, Dionysus Brandanus Tangni, Magister in Scientis. Gradus Seniores, Solemni Modo Calati Sunt, Examinatone Habita in Album Senatus Referenda. Registrarius Kuruit. Totalque Universitas. Supplicant, Reverences Vestris Ei, Queen is Cartis, Gwen Manibus Nostris Sunt Nominantur, Ut His Comitis Ad Gradum Supernomina Designatum Admitantur. Ego fidimi attesto ac spondio tote academie, unum quempi candidatorum his cartis nominatum, omni si accradum, ad quem unus quisque ad spirat, pertinenci pro legibus academicis rite complevisse. Ad scrutinium. Placet ne vobis domini doctores. Placet. Placet ne vobis domini magistri. Placet. Placet omnibus. In absentia. Magistri in sciences studia. Al Abdullah Rataj. Al Manca Andrei Luigi. Binda Carolyn. Chakraborty Arnab. Chen Hui Chen Shenzhen Childress Nicole Elise Chiosa Dario Chu Man Ling Daryani Sidan Teshishku Clarenta Espindola Videira Fernando Feng Meng Yang Gao Wei Jin Gao Yi Ming Gelani Hashil Dilip Gosh Anjul Puru Kopakumar Bindu Aravind Grigsby Lauren Halstead Neil Hayes Ryan Hauser Jennifer Shin Ae North Hu Yang 
Jiang Yuanjie. Kantalam Orvi. Kapur Malika Sanjay. Kaim Jan. Lai Rachel Yik Wai. Liu Yaben. Nuguro Kuao Pedro Bas. Lynch Alice. Mahanjan Jayant. Mohan Avis. Nagel Yaklin. Nove Nicole. Oduva Malaka Imuvahen. Pal Amelie Teresa Maximiliane. Pan Zhu Tong. Piao Yin Zhu. Pineda Marcela Maria. Quinn Yi Heng. Rector Ian Lawrence. Rosca Oana Maria. Rust Sara Marie. Sankavi Kunal. Sarkar Anu Pav. Shi Kang. Smythe Stephen. Tanvar Bhuvnesh. Vankamamidi Alankrita. Wang Jin. Wang Qi Zheng. Wang Wen Yao Si Jia Yusuf Kamran Zhang Hao Yue Zhang Shi Rui Zhang Ji Yue Zhang Yi Ye Zhong Si Ji Zhu Si Han Zhu Zheng Zhan Pre Honorabilis Cancellaria to Chakwe Universitas Comendo vobis, filios meos de genti per egre, orum nomina recitata son supplicationes per placo erot. Vos sio, tam moribus tam doctrina habilis ed etonios esse, ud ad gradus quos petunt admitantur. Ego, auctaritati contesa, admito candidatus de gentes per egre, quorum nomina recitata supplicationes per placuerunt, Turquisque meruit, ad incipiendum, in utroque jure, in studiis negotialibus, in scientiis studia, in philosophia, in medicina. Valete, senatores, non diutius vos morabimur, valete candidati, nois honoribus decorati, valete et vos. Hospites acceptissimi. Comitia solvantur in nomini patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. <laughs>